If you like this video or content, please give me a subscribe. If you like the actual video, give me a thumbs up. But anyway, let's continue on with the video. Hello, welcome back. So <laughs> this is something totally different. Back in the day, uh, I guess before the internet took it over, uh, the internet was still there, but um, it was not really there. It was there for mostly colleges. So what we had way back when, I think it's, I think the internet didn't actually take off until like the mid 90s ish i was hired by an isp troubleshooting company uh in, in around 99 yeah 99 and before i worked for compact support that's something you didn't know about me and the internet just blew up in 98 97 98 um but yeah so before that the only way to connect to other people was through BBSs. So I decided, because of a website, uh, another website, a YouTube channel called Action Retro, Retro he does mostly, um, I'll put a link to his channel below. Uh, really interesting guy, really nice guy. And he does a lot of Mac hacks. Like he does like Apple two C's and he's actually got a Macintosh when he put a clear case on. It's pretty cool, all the stuff he does. He mostly, works with his hands so you don't see his face very often but it'll see his hands doing stuff and pointing stuff it's pretty interesting and again i'll put a link below and one of the things he sort of sparked my interest was bbs's are still around and the last time i connected uh, up until today which i had to test this software out up until today i connected through bbs's through my modem so i connected with the commodore 64 then later i connected with my 3d6 way back when and I had this humongous modem. The actual cover was broken, so you could actually remove the cover, but I left it on, of course. And it was only a 9600 baud. But before then, I had a 1200 baud modem in my PC, and that was slow. When I get to the 9600, things just change. So right now, I'm using a program called Putty, P-U-T-T-Y, which is a free Telnet program and SSH program, and you can set it up to have a telnet and i'm connected to the captain's quarters which is something that uh action restro kept uh logging in he's actually in here i'm not gonna send him an email he's probably a busy man but i want to show you that and still in 2021 you can still connect them there's a whole bunch of sites out there and let's continue so i already made an account oops it's new just true so yeah so it's got the captain's log so I'm I was playing mostly uh, in the games and here is as soon as you create an account it says you know this is the from the sysop which is probably an automatic message Welcome to the captain's logs. Was created in, in a dis, distinct lack of cap, Macintosh BBSs. So I'll probably be on the hunt for other BBSs. This is because Action Restaurant was mentioned on this. I wanted to try it out for myself because I do have some experience with BBSs. He talks about like Trivia Night. I will not go to Trivia Night. It's probably all Mac related. I really am rusty. I'm not even a, I never had a Mac when I was growing up. Um, I've had Macs pass by me, as in I would have it for like maybe a week or so, then I would sell it or give it away because that wasn't something I grew up with. Now, the more I watch Action Restro, he's, he's, no, I got no room. I keep telling him, I got no room, I got no room. But it's like, yeah, but just one or two. There's room, there's always room. But they're so expensive, even now. So... I'm gonna go through some of these stuff here. Mostly, the most of the most of it I'm interested in is either the newsroom, system news, which I already read. C. Oh, he's creating a virtual three Apple emulator. That was in. Oh, that was recent. COVID-19? 
Hood Tractor and Today in History. Let's put Today in History. What happened today in history? Oh, Ben Affleck won. 1972? Uh, no. That's wrong. That's totally wrong. Oh! Oh, these are born. Who are born in the... Oh, he's 72? Really? Huh. He's a year older than me. Uh, let's go to no. That's okay. So we're equipped to main menu. This is pretty cool. Like, I haven't... Like, the last time I connected, like, um, the only way I could find BBSs is I bought a, a paper magazine where it was talking about Ottawa, local Ottawa stuff, and in the back of it, there was a list of BBSs, and every time I bought them, bought, well, actually, it was a free copy, I forget what it was called, but there would be a list of BBSs, and every month or so, the list would get shorter and shorter and shorter until they all disappeared, and the magazine disappeared, too, because... You know, it just took everything over. So, I'm going to go in the games. I'm going to go in the down. Actually, I'm going to go to the downloads for us. Uh, so, M. Let me see. What, I just want to know what's in there. Download files. I want to download files. File name. No. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. SpaghettiOs. No. Uh, search for files, Mac file server. Let's go with Mac file server. All can be downloaded to the server to connect to vintage modern Mac. If you got a network, you can connect with it. Okay. List files. Okay. A new graphic on Captain's Quarters BBS. Next. Cereal box. Surfer cereal, cereals. Huh. I right, quit out of that. Quit out of that. Hopefully it's so I'm gonna put some music in the background, which I will put earlier. Um, Alright, so I'm gonna go to quit to the menu. I gotta play the games then. So I've tried most of these games. Let's try. Um, oh, Dope Wars. Anybody play Dope Wars? Let's quit. Uh, thank you for playing Dope Wars. So I'll play one. Some of them don't work. Stack them, um, a Tetris game. It's S. Yeah, some of them don't work. They'll sit here. I don't know because I need another Terminator program or it doesn't support Putty or only supports like Classic Max. Which which game? Oh, okay. See what I mean? Just kinda, I'm going to go to the bbslink.net which has, I guess he links his BBS to another BBS and all the games are here. Freshwater Lemonade. Oh, okay. I remember playing Lemonade back in the day. Lemonade. Wow, that's uh, yellow. Yeah, no. That doesn't look very good. No. Let's go back to the... Now, I did play Legends of the Red Dragon when I did go on the BBSs. So, instructions. It is a type of move that kills the players. It's stronger and stronger. Each day you are given a certain amount of fights per day. Once the end, you no longer have a battle that day. You must call back to the next day and do a ref uh, refill. Two choices, warrior. Yes. Sure. 
sure. Um, I don't know. Retro, re retro poop. No. Yes. Let's go with mail. <laughs> Dabbling in mystical forces. Answers in the mystical sills. All right. Who's online? Oh, nobody else is online, which I'm not surprised. Like, these games before, I remember back in the day, um, people were just scrambling on having people, because it costs money, a lot of money at the time. It costs minuscule now. Like, you can run, anybody can run a, a BBS server through a Raspberry Pi and put it in their home, and it would cost nothing. But back in the day, when dial-up was the only option, you would have to pay for a phone if you if you didn't want to hog up your phone if setting up a BBS. And when you connect to these BBSs, um, only so let's say if you have one phone, right? Or two phones. So let's say you got a phone and a, another phone. So if somebody connects to that BBS, that's one phone taken. Nobody else can connect to that BBS. So some people in their hobby would have multiple phone lines so four three four five six seven and that costs money so some of them would start charging so when the uh internet just came out it changed absolutely everything um so i want to forest Look for something to kill. Sure. A large mosquito. <laughs> Is this riveting uh, content for you? <laughs> so. So this is a very basic RPG. And I loved it. I absolutely love this. Look for something kill Brian the warrior attack uh oh front row you have killed Brian the warrior so. healer's hut yep. certain amount healed Look for something to kill. You have a hit small bear. <laughs> so you're only allowed so many times to play this game. After so many turns, you basically go to the inn and then heal. And then you go in the next day and it wants you to log in all the time. So let's return to town and I'm gonna go to King Arthur's weapons I love the ASCII art I absolutely love this ASCII art buy a weapon a stick a death sword jeez zero to exit Return to town. Yeah, so 
If it was my old 1200 baud motor, it would just kind of like go like this. <laughs> it's like insane. So let's get out of here. I'm going to... Slaughter other players, view your stats, list warriors. Let's try to list warriors. Let's see what else is here. Wow. Buttercup. Buttercup. Quit the field. Yep, yeah, wanna quit? Quit game? Yes. So yeah, this is connecting to a BBS in 2021. <laughs> um, I just wanted to show you guys, like it's still possible to connect to these BBSs if you have fond memories. I, I don't think it's very good for new players. You know what, maybe, maybe I start, oops, started something on my channel. I have played BBSs back in the day with, again, with my Commodore 64, my PC. I think that was it. Yeah, it's like I had a Commodore, I had a PC, no. I had a Commodore 64, and then I got rid of it. I had the REST, got rid of that, which I still regret. And when I connected back to the PB BBSs, I used my, con I got another Commodore 64. I traded in for my old mountain bike, and then I had a modem with it, and that was just painful. The software itself was broken or corrupted, so I couldn't auto dial. I had to press the ADDT space, and then the phone number, and then the line would be busy all the time. So I spent most of the time just connecting. <laughs> Yeah, those are uh, times that are fun, and I remember them. Glad I don't have to do that anymore. But if you like this kind of videos, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like them, give me a thumbs down. Any feedback will be appreciative. And if you like this kind of content, maybe consider subscribing. And until the next video, this is Mike, signing off.